Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for your patience with me while Andrew and I have been getting settled into our new home. I have been extremely eager and am now quite thrilled to present to you all our next Let's Play project, which is going to be a blind playthrough of Paladin's Quest. So, hey, before the demo actually rolls, <laughs> it was getting a little over eager there itself. Um, but before it does, go ahead and run. We will will watch the demo together, but I did just want to give you guys the briefest of openings here. Okay, thing. Do we have to click and say that we're continuing? Jeez, how rude. So just as a brief opening for the game itself, as I already mentioned, this project and this undertaking will be 100% blind. So you guys, I don't know anything about this game outside of the box art that I saw as a child. And I've heard like one or two of the songs. I actually had a good friend that owned this and I saw them play it a little bit when I was a kiddo but again beyond knowing the name what the box art looked like and maybe just in general what the graphics were I have no idea who the characters are what gameplay is like what the story is absolutely nothing so 100% blind it's been a minute since we have done one of these together so I thought it was about time now what is going to be kind of novel for the channel is that I have not yet done a Super Nintendo Entertainment System let's play so this is the first one so woohoo hands in the air for that super pumped about that so as for any other like little opening info I guess that I could share with you usually I do kind of just my own little bit of of info for you guys where I share a bit of my past in my relationship with the game any sort of nostalgia that is connected to my experience having played the title in the past but since I don't have that for Paladin's Quest we don't really have much of an opening other than I suppose two things so the first is coming back to what I already mentioned that this is a blind playthrough Specifically, it is 100% blind, so it's not even semi where I kind of know what's going on. So if you could avoid any spoilers at all, it's not even just for me. I personally don't care that much about spoilers. It's not a huge deal. I feel like other people sharing too much doesn't honestly take away from my experience with a game or with a movie or television show, at least not to the point where I viscerally feel the need to respond in an angry or upset manner. It's annoying, but it doesn't ruin my day like it does some other people. So why I am requesting that you please hold all spoilers to yourself is for others. So I, I will be honest with you guys and say that what I probably am going to do is none of your comments are just going to be able to post live because I know some people just get a little too eager to share things and regardless of your motivations and although I appreciate the the compassion if you feel like I'm lost and you're just wanting to give me a tip or there's a piece of equipment that's better suited for a boss that I'm about to undertake I completely understand and I do appreciate your thoughtfulness but Again, the spoilers, not super appreciated. So I will be the one that actively approves any and all comments. So please don't don't despair if you post something and, you know, you log out and you don't see it. You're not blocked. Your comments not deleted. I just will manually review everything so that other people's blind experience with me in this game is not ruined by you maybe being a little overzealous with wanting to offer information. So with all of that being said, I guess the only other thing I want to mention slash do is thank those of you who had recommended that I try a blind series next to take the place of Jade Cocoon 2, which had been going on for fucking ever, it seems like. And with that in mind, I also want to go ahead and thank those of you who have financially supported the channel, whether you are a patron or you have donated directly to my PayPal or through my coffee link. Thank you so much for those of you who take the time to watch, those of you that take the time to become patrons or do a one-time donation. It really does help in terms of gathering I guess games for playthroughs it also helps in terms of keeping up equipment with editing and and yeah just having the tools to provide a decent quality product for you all so 
I just like to take a moment at the start of every single series to profusely offer my gratitude for those of you who have contributed in whatever way, whether that's financially or just with your time, with watching, commenting, liking, the whole shebang. So I think that's it. That's all I really have to say. I know some people don't like these intros or these openings from me. And if you don't, this is my style. You can always find someone else to watch. Or you know what's really cool? You can just drag them that little marker on the video to the point where the gameplay actually starts. It's really cool to have options, you guys. I mean, the time people take to complain versus just moving a little slider along, it's baffling. But nothing else on my end in terms of my personal intro. I told you this is blind. I don't know what's going on. I told you guys, please be mindful about any spoilers. And thank you for those of you who wanted to sponsor this series in particular. So this is a story of another time, another place. Ooh, sounds exciting. Lenis is a land of legends and wonders, a world where awesome events take place. Okay, cool, cool. Anything else? Upon the town of change, Laord, trouble has befallen. On the shore of Old Bay sits the peaceful town. Suddenly, half of the townspeople perish. The town faces destruction. What has happened? Did the immortals betray the town? Is it the anger of Lenis? So I'm guessing Lenis might be like the god of this world? Possibly? I'm sure we'll find out considerably more. Although I don't expect the demo to present too much. Thirteen years have passed. Still, no one knows what happened. Now, another event is about to threaten all of Lenis. Well, that doesn't sound too good, you guys. I do believe that there was a sequel to Paladin's Quest. I think in Japanese, like the name was Lenis something something, and then the sequel was called Lenis 2, and I don't believe it ever had a release outside of Japan. So Master of the School of Magic, Naskuat's best spiritualist, Dakent, doesn't even know. Or Dakent. We'll figure out how we want to pronounce people's names as we chug along. Oh shit. Far to the south of Laord in Sesquat, an evil dictator was born. His name was Zagos. He attempted what no man had ever attempted before in the history of Lenis. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Wait, it looks like he's killing monsters. Isn't that what we would want? I would think so, but, you know, I don't call the shots around here. He conquered five united tribes in the south. Oh, well, maybe not. All renowned for their strength in no time at all. Looks like someone's got to stop this D-bag. I like how beautiful and vibrant the colors are. I just have to offer as an aside while we're going through everything. So Zagos, now leader of Sasquatch, was beginning to plan his attack on some place with an N. Was it Nascuo? Nascuot? I'm sure we'll see the name again. It's scrolling a little bit fast. Not my doing. The news had not yet reached the north. The five tribes living in the north of Nasquat didn't even know the threat from the south. You know, just thought I'd insert the even there. Come on, y'all. Gotta improv a little bit. One of the remains of a great city, a school of magic was built. And in this school, too, there was evil. How evil. I suppose we'll, we'll see. The story of Lenis is 10,000 years old. An unprecedented tragedy is about to, I think it said, unfold or happen. We can guess. We can guess. And bam, here we are, Paladin's Quest. And is it really just going to launch right back? Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, that's it for the demo. We have nothing to continue because we're starting this game for the very first time. So thank you again for the last time, you guys. I just have to take the second to say I really appreciate you watching. And I'm super pumped, just beyond thrilled to be playing this for you all. So let's go ahead and start a new game. So do we want to change the hero's name? Uh, no, I don't see any benefit to us doing that. So no, we shall not. Chesney is a 13 is 13 years old. He is a student of the magic school. I don't know why I'm just like throwing random articles and words in the text here. When potential for magic was found within him, he left his home to attend the magic school. Paladin's Quest is the story of Chesney's wondrous 
misadventures. Oh, that's what I was starting to say with the demo reel rolling. That Paladin's Quest, I believe in Japanese, is called Lenas something or another. You guys will see it in the description box of every video. I try to put what it is also called in Japanese if you know you want to just look up a little bit more about it. And I think there was a sequel that I'm actually 99% sure there is a sequel. It's called like Lenis 2 something something. I don't know if it's like a direct sequel or if it's more like the Final Fantasy games where it's just set generally in the same universe, I guess. I don't really know. But the point is that did not ever get a North American or even a European release. I'm fairly confident in saying that. But I do believe there is a fan translation. And depending on how much we like this journey, I would not be opposed to playing the sequel for you guys as well. So just want to throw that out there. I'm sure the question would come up. Thought we would tackle it in episode number one. So let's keep the ball rolling. Oh, I like this. I think this is one of the songs that I actually do recall from my past in my very, very tiny sliver of exposure to this title. That's all for today's classes. Don't forget your homework. My apologies as well if my voice is a bit raspy. I feel like you guys have gotten used to this by now that I feel <laughs> so strongly that every single time we start a new series, I either have a cold or I'm getting over a cold or I just finished something important for work where I was doing a lot of talking the day or two days prior and my voice is still recovering. I don't know what's going on with me today, but this is what y'all get. But do know that I don't normally sound quite this this scratchy. So, hey Chesney, says some random person, just because you seem to have some type of natural gift for magic doesn't mean you're anything special. Jeez, those are fighting words. If you're supposed to be so good at magic, why don't you prove it? Yeah, show us how good you really are. I dare you to climb the Tower of Gabnid. They say that there's some fantastic treasure in the Tower of Gabnid. Why don't you and Duke go and get it? Will you join me, Master Chesney, on a trip to the Tower of Gabnid, beyond the easternmost part of the school? I have a feeling we don't have much choice in this, so we will consent. Oh, you're pretty brave, aren't you? Well then, I'll meet you at the Tower of Gabnid. Make sure you're there. Oh, we'll be there, or be square. Before we do anything else, let's check out our menus and our options here. So we have equipment, use, Whose item will you use? I don't feel like I have any items. Equip, whose equipment is it? Chesney? Choice for your head, we don't have anything. Abandon, I don't think so. Order, it isn't there. Maybe order is for once you have an actual party, you can move people around. I, I'm just guessing, I have no idea. So STR. That can't stand for stats, right? Maybe strength, and it just shows everything about you. So Chesney's little info screen here says, I want to be a great spiritualist. So his race is La Fury, something about Mal. Don't know what that means. Age 13, level 1 with 0 XP. For next level, we need 30 experience points. HP is 120, and condition is normal. So abilities, we can see all of his stats here and what he has equipped. So head, I'm guessing right arm, left arm, actual body. I don't know what LG is, and I don't know what BLT is. Usually it's a sandwich. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out soon enough. So magic that he has equipped or he has learned is fire S. I don't know what E W F S K L A M T S P means. Oh my God, you guys. Why is everything abbreviated in this game? I mean, it's, I can't really comment and say that that's a bad thing, but it already is seeming, if there's not going to be a description provided, I can see this being something that gets old really fast, not having full names. And I don't think I have any. Oh, it already showed me the magic. So which one will you move? Okay, so you can organize, oh, or swap? I'm so confused. So can you swap spells with people? That's interesting. We'll figure it out soon enough. So exit, none you can part with. I guess that's to dismiss party members. So do you get temporary recruits? Who knows? And then SYS is the, I guess, system 
menu here so you can control okay so we know a is to talk b is to cancel x is your window and y will be the map left right okay so all of these things can be used to talk i don't care about the message speed it doesn't I mean, really bother me. I guess we can put it on two, so everything kind of populates a little bit faster, but the default was fine, in my opinion. Or honestly, we probably could even switch it to one if we wanted to. Let's just see how that goes for now. Okay, so they say that the Tower of Gabnid was built 10,000 years ago by the spiritualist Gabnid. Okay, the world's a really strange place when an honor student like you asks us about the great Gabnid. Oh, come on. I hate when people do that, when you maybe are, you know, one of the top students or you've performed the best in whatever project you're working on, but you have a question and they're like, I can't believe you would ever think to ask me. It's like, shut the fuck up. Like, no one's perfect. Just answer my fucking question. There are all kinds of legends. Sorry, you guys. That was a little bit of a tangent there. There are all kinds of legends about Gabnid, but since he lived 10,000 years ago, we don't know the truth about him. Fair enough, fair enough. Can I just talk to the girl with purple hair? Gabnid was the great spiritualist who brought magic into Lennis. All right, so it seems like no one knows for sure anything about Gabnid, and we're operating just on rumors here. So can we read books here along these shelves? It does not appear to be the case. So friends, what we will go ahead and do is we will call this an episode Oh goodness, we are in the school. I think that's where we are, like some magic academy. So what we will do is in our upcoming episode, video number two, we will spend a bit of time walking around, talking to people so we can get a firmer grasp on exactly what the lore is and what we will be facing as Chesney as we depart the tower and head to this place where we're meeting the dude named Duke. I don't even know, but we will find out shortly together. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. My name is Rabbit. This is my blind let's play of Paladin's Quest, and I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys soon.